Hey guys, thanks for stopping on the Pete's Garage. <clears throat> you know, I get a lot of requests for videos, and lately I've been getting a lot of requests for rebuild in, uh, videos on four-cylinder engines. Now, four-cylinder engines are very common, whether it's in a car or a, a motorcycle or, or a, like this jet ski in front of me. So, uh, I'm going to work on this engine right here, and, and uh, I think it has a blown head gasket. It could be cracked head, crack, crack lock, I don't know, but it sat outside over the winter, and at startup it hydrolocked. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you about a diagnosing what's wrong with an engine. And the great thing, or the thing I try to do with my videos are make them generic enough so that once you learn how to rebuild one engine, you can rebuild any engine. Like I said, this is an 1100cc engine inside a Yamaha Wave Runner jet ski. It's a, it's a four-cylinder, twin cam, overhead cam engine, fuel injected. And it's just like a car engine. There's really not much difference other than the way it sits and the way the drive unit works. But in essence, it's just like a car engine. So if you can work on a car engine and you understand the concepts about rebuilding and repairing car engines, you can work on any engine. I, can, I work on all kinds of engines, mostly car engines, but I work on boat engines as well, marine engines. I work on uh, uh, smaller engines for uh, off-the-road vehicles, motorcycles, uh, lawnmowers, I even, I even used to race uh, Formula One racing, uh, I used to race Formula One uh, real control airplanes, so high performance, real small engines to very, very big engines, I've, I've worked them on them all. So what I'd like to do is, uh, for this video series, is show you taking apart an engine, uh, how to make sure that you check timing marks on overhead cam engines, and, and how to check to find out what's wrong with an engine. Now, when I took this engine out, first time this year, I went to start it up at Hydrolocked. Hydrolock is when water gets in your cylinders. And since water is a non-compressible fluid, it closes up the space or the air inside the cylinder, takes up space, so the compression goes really, really high. And what happens is it locks up, it hydrolocks. And so the engine can't turn over. It sounds like the battery's dead, but in essence the engine is locking up because there's too much water inside the cylinders. So let's take a look at this engine. We'll take the plugs out, we'll take a look and see what it looks like, and then I'll start to disassemble it, disassemble it, and we'll analyze each part as we take it apart, figure out what's wrong with it, fix it, and put it back together. So here's our basic engine. It's a four-cylinder, 1100cc, fuel-injected, four-cylinder engine. You have your fuel injection, fuel rail right here, the intake is over here, our oil reservoir, this is a dry sump. Uh, the spark plugs and have the coils right, in, right inside, almost like a Hemi engine kind of, are right inside here. And we have our intake up in front, the drive unit is underneath, and it's, it's really not that bad to get to. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take these plug wires off, we're going to take those out, take a look and see what the plugs look like. Okay, so I have all my plugs out. I'm going to pick up the plugs. A lot of water, a lot of moisture on the tips of the plugs. And as I I'll turn it over real quick. Mm -hmm. And as is suspected, there's a lot of water in there. I'll take a close up of this. So you can see, uh, let, me, let me do this. I'll bring this over here. And looking down inside the bore, which might be tough for you to see, but you can see here all this water. All this water is just spit out of the cylinder. So there's water inside the cylinders, and it looks like it's even across all of them. All the spark plugs seem to be uh, fouled very similarly. They all had, uh, they were all fouled with water and moisture in them. So, I'll have to take off, start taking this all apart, and I can take the head off and see what it looks like. I think it's fair to say this will be a fairly involved project. It's not something I'm going to get done in an afternoon. So what I'll do is I'll break this up into a series of smaller videos so you can watch at your leisure if there's something you like you don't have to watch the whole video. I'll start taking this apart and making notes as I do. So I'll, I'll, what I'll do is I'll make videos taking this apart, how I analyze each part and find out what the problem is. Uh, I'll show you taking it apart so you can see how things come apart on a four-cylinder engine. There is a, a dual overhead cam, so there are cam marks. I'll have to make sure the timing is held correctly, and I'll do that. Now one, one, one more uh, word. Since this is a, a, a boat or a, a, a a marine vehicle, a jet ski is still a marine vehicle. I hate to say different care because you want to take care on every engine you build. 
But marine engines take a, a special attention because if your car engine doesn't work, you can walk home. If you're four miles out on the lake or the ocean or even ten miles out and your engine fails, a little different situation. You're not walking home on the water unless you're one person that we all, all know. So working on marine engines is, is a, it takes a different mindset, I guess. You have to be more cognizant of the things you're doing and you, can, you can't make any mistakes. I don't make any mistakes when I build any engine, but marine engines for some reason, it just requires a, a different mindset. I, it's hard to explain. You, because of the nature of, of you don't want to be driving home or <laughs> swimming home when you're on the lake. Yeah, you can call for a tow, but you know, a tow off the a river or the lake where I live is 500 bucks. So when you take an engine apart for a marine vehicle, you want to make sure that it's put together and it works bulletproof. That way you're not stuck driving home. So stop back, check occasionally, I'll upload videos as I work on this engine, how I uh, diagnose each part, put it back together and break it in, run it. It should be a lot of fun. Uh, I've never done this particular engine before. It's an 1100 cc Yamaha engine, very similar to a motorcycle. So if you have a motorcycle, you can use it for your motorcycle as well. So stick around, come back, and uh, this should be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to this. Thanks for stopping by Pete's Garage.